Hi there and welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School down in Montpellier, France, an Ableton certified training center. Today we're going to talk about the slicer effect. This effect enables us to pump a signal like a pad or a bass line to groove it into the track. Very easy to put together, you probably know it already. However, there's a catch, so let's do it. So what is a slicer? A slicer is another word for tremolo. Tremolo is a volume modulation that enables us to groove, to create, to give rhythm to an otherwise flat signal. And that's exactly the effect I've applied to that pad in that song. Listen. Yeah, and if I switch off that rack, you'll find that this pad is rather flat, lifeless. So using this tremolo, this slicer effect, we can really groove a signal otherwise quite flat. So how is that rack done? Well, at the heart of it lies an auto pan. An auto pan is a rather simple effect in live that enables us to send a signal in the left and right speakers, giving us the feeling that the signal is moving, the sound is moving from left to right. So how does it do that? It duplicates the signal we feed it and places one of the copy into the left hand side channel and the other one into the right hand side channel. It then modulates both channels independently. It changes the volume of these channels independently, creating the illusion that the sound moves from the left speaker to the right speaker. Let's hear it. I can also synchronize this to live's tempo here. If you push the phase to 360 or zero, then both channels align. And the modulation then applied to both channels simultaneously, giving us a tremolo effect, a slicer. So that's the first tip I wanted to give you. Bring the phase to zero or 360, same thing, and you'll have a simultaneous movement on both sides. And that's giving you a slicer, a tremolo. That's the first advice. However, you'll find that depending on which rate you're using, you're applying to your modulation, you want your phase to be inverted or not inverted. So what's the inversion here? So when we push this button, you'll find that the signal here swaps. It, it's either going down first, that's the case right there, or up first. So it's changing basically the groove of your modulation. It's applying silence to the ones and the threes, or the twos and the fours. So that really is important because that really makes this effect musical or not. And I find that if I am below one six like so, I'd rather have the face normal. However, as soon as I go to an eighth, I'd rather invert the face to stay musical. Let's hear it against the metronome. So not inverted. Not great. If I invert, you see, it's at the right place. It's applying silence to the twos and the fours instead of the ones and the threes. And that's, to me, sound much better. So anything above one eighth, I'd rather be inverted. But below 1.8, I don't want to be inverted. I'm giving you that rack in the video description so you don't have anything to do or think about. But let's have a look at how it's done. Simply, I've created two chains and each of the chains bears an auto pan, one not inverted and the other one inverted. And the point here in the chains where we cross from one to another is at 1 6 and an eighth. So right there, I'm on an eighth and just below, I'm on a six. Let's listen to it. So you don't have to think about anything, just download that rack for free in the video description and go ahead and make music with it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, see you soon on another tutorial for Fastlane, bye.